our sermon. When earthquakes come in your life, if you look closely, it could be a blessing. Huh. When earthquakes come in your life, if you look closely, it could be a blessing. How many of you have been so disappointed sometime with a certain circumstance and then about a week later you find out you didn't go there and lo and behold a bunch of trouble happened. Anybody? Nobody? You never had that? Oh well. You ever had that? Never. Yeah. You just said that. I'm sure I'm positive. My parents kept me from jail many times because they insisted on me doing certain things that I probably did not want to do. And uh, my dad always said, he had a few quotes I kind of liked. He said, live like you're going to die tomorrow. And I said, what does that mean? He said, well, don't ask me that the second time. I'll tell you. <laughs> I said, what is it? I said, he said, if you don't straighten up, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was kind of like blunt. He, he said, this is the way it's going to be, and that's the way it was. I mean, there wasn't any <laughs> ifs, ands, or buts. Now, have you ever had an earthquake in your life? You can laugh on it. It's funny. I like it. As long as you're not laughing at me too much. There you go. Hey, Kate Fish. I like that. I'm going to do that after church. <laughs> Jump off, man. Some probably take eight of you to pick me up. But have you ever had an earthquake in your life? Does that mean a real earthquake? What does it mean? Yeah. Have you ever had your world shaken up? How about you, baby? Have you ever had your world shaken up? I know. Harry, have you ever had yours? Yeah. Me and Mom's thinking about shaking up cones right now. <laughs> hey, hey Helen, come here for a second, buddy. You better just sit with Big Daddy. Come here for a second. Come here with Big Daddy. Just a minute. I'm going to shake, save you from an earthquake. <laughs> because I think there's two of them going to ask you, and I don't want to see an earthquake. Yeah. I don't catch you, well, <laughs> you know, have you ever had a boyfriend or no. a girlfriend? Hey, come here, Cohen. Don't adjust myself again. Uh, Mom, sit down. And then sit by Catherine. Sit by her. Uh, have you ever had a boyfriend or girlfriend and all of a sudden they decide they didn't like you or something and your whole world just fell apart and you found out later on it was a blessing? It was a blessing. None of you have had that, right? No? I hope you never do. It's a... Uh, and... My world changed when I came to this church. Mine too. It was like, it was like, I really don't want to be a pastor. And I, all of a sudden, the old boy says, I are one. <laughs> and you know what? You all have been so patient with me. You let me be myself. You put up with me since Satan's been trying to kill me since day one I came here. But that's all right. I'm going to hang out. I'm going to fight as long as I can fight. But what if I wouldn't have followed what God wanted me to do? What might have happened to me? Just think about it. Let me tell you something. When you're out of the will of God, don't expect God to protect you and take care of you. He will chastise you. 
But, as we're going to find out today, when the chains came off, did they run? No. They stayed there and rejoiced. You know, if I was in jail, now I'm just speaking in me, Harry, you do the same thing. If the doors flew open and the chains came off, I'd say, brother, it's time for me to split right now. Feet don't fail me. But they did what was right. They stayed there. Now listen, they witnessed and they won people to the Lord and it all paid off in the end. Are we willing to do that? To stand when we should run? There you go. I like that. Son, I like that church. At least we have more enthusiasm. <laughs> Maybe we can get an amen. Can you give me one? Say amen. And I will say it. Okay. If I only had that kind of enthusiasm, we'd have to set up parking meters out here. But I want you to remember one thing. Whoa, Mama, moving in. Earthquake is one. I want us to hold hands and pray that we will know when our earthquakes come, stand firm, trust God to help us. Okay? Let us pray. Dear Lord, Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this day. We thank you for earthquakes. We thank you for earthquakes. In our lives. In our lives. That make blessings in the future. That make blessings in the future. We thank you for taking care of us. We thank you for taking care of us. When we are not, we are not very, obedient. very obedient. We pray that we trust you. We pray that we trust you. Lean on you. Lean on you. And rely on you for direction. And rely on you for direction. We ask this in your name. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I thank you.